Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss Surgery 1 video. And today, we're back in x -Plane, as always. Today, we are in Southern Germany again to check out some more stuff. Yeah, today, we are in the Sukhoi Superjet again for a very specific reason. Today, we're going to talk about APU fires. What happens in an APU fire and um, if we die or not. So yeah, the reason I'm picking this aircraft is that this is the only x -Plane aircraft that I know that can simulate APU fires fire properly and where the APU actually starts burning and stuff like that. And yeah, the Sukhoi Superjet is uh, a very interesting topic on its own, but yeah. So this is the APU, it provides power on ground and in an emergency when, for example, the normal engines cannot provide power. And yeah, actually the APU is also an engine, which is running at around 100 rotations per minute. It's in the tail of the plane, the tail section, and the problem about when it starts burning is... Well, well, basically, the whole tail is burning. So that's like the thing about APU fires. So, uh, yeah, here we are in the Sukhoi Superjet. This is like a compilation of Bombardier and uh, Airbus and Embraer cockpit. I mean, Embraer cockpits. We have a side stick. This <laughs> is really a fake aircraft. Especially now since I have flown the CRJ-200 again. This is like so similar. Everything is similar. Yeah, we have checked this plane out before because it had some weird safety records and stuff like that. Here we are in the cabin. This does have a cabin with creepy people in it. Yeah, we have checked that out earlier as well. Uh... Ah, uh, no legs, I guess. So this plane is Russian, which you might be able to tell by the name, I guess. So yeah, we have already spawned onto the runway because we can. Let's just start the engines. And what do we need to do that? Right, we need to start the APU. Here's the APU. Let's just turn it on. There we go. It's also available so we can just normally start up the engines. I've never flown this plane before, so I guess we just have to press this. Okay, now we need APU bleeds and the engine is coming up. All right, this is all starting. This is what it would look like when everything was normal. But oh no, what happens if we have an APU fire on ground, which might happen? I don't know. Fail, 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 fail. Oh no, you can see some fire and smoke coming out and uh, uh, press, press. So this is the fire extinguisher. Come on, <laughs> do something. I guess you have to push this out, but I can't. I guess this button will do. Oh, oh. Okay, that, that worked. Okay, that all right. So yeah, as you can see, we have extinguished the APU. And that would not really be much of a problem. Okay, so this plane is kind of dead. We uh, cannot use it anymore. Right, so we are spawned in midair. By the way, this also has fly-by-wire, you know. They normally don't have APU mid-flight. What happens if we uh, have a fire mid-flight? As you can see, our plane is kind of on fire. Oh, no. It's so hard to press the buttons properly. You have to really be in the middle. Okay. Oh, no. If we now had a bird strike... That would really be a bad situation. Okay, now we really have a bad situation. Oh, wow, the whole plane is on fire. All right, so we have to turn off, obviously. Uh, let's cut them. Okay, we can now extinguish the APU, I guess. Yes, let's just try to somehow make it to the airfield. We are kind of stable. Our engines are fully distinguished. This is now a glider plane. Duh. This will totally work. <laughs> That was quite a landing. I mean, we have kind of land- oh, hello, bus. So, yeah, whatever, right? Oh, we have actually landed on top of a car. That's not too good. Sorry, passengers, we are having some turbulence. Maybe we should try to end up in the Hudson better this time around. This is, uh, kind of shaky. I mean, if an APU fails, that can be drastic when the fire actually expands too much and when the actual aircraft starts burning then. But most of the time, the APU extinguishers are quite- Successful. So, yeah, most of the time, you're gonna not die. Okay. Let's just go. Alright, that was perfect. The wings are kind of shaking. And also, the engine is kind of uh, not feeling well, I guess. But we have successfully touched down. So, w whatever, right? I do wonder if we could make it to the runway, though. Oh, no. The APU has failed. But that's not a problem because our plane has not catched fire. Right, there's some fog. Some foggy weather. We might want to use uh, ILS. Now, when a plane starts burning, it's not that much of a problem. If you land in time obviously as long as the fire doesn't damage anything let's just <laughs> I, I do not know what my speed is but it's looking good touchdown that was hard that was hard okay whatever 
All right, now we are going to leave the aircraft. That was good. That was good as always. Now, so what's the conclusion of APU fires? Again, it's not that much of a problem as long as the fire does not catch up to the actual airplane. And in mid-flight, you normally don't need the APU anyway. It's mostly shut off. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.